Hello everybody. Today we are working on that egress window cover. And as I mentioned in the other video, we are going to put some little cylinder columns underneath the cover to hold it up off the ground. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to uh, carve a circular cylinder with a chainsaw. And I started out with some 8 by 8 by 2 foot square blocks and what I did was mark them every two and a half inches all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is cut those line to line out. Now what I'm going to do is take my foam rasp, this is a Winlock carbide bit, 8 by 14 wall rasp, used for foam. And what I'm going to do here is just start taking these rough edges off, follow the shape of that top cylinder there.
see the um, getting closer and closer to the cylinder shape that I'm looking for. I'll continue on doing that all the way around, following that guard ma guide mark as I go. I'll switch up to a smaller, more easy to use brass. This is a uh, another carbide bit but it's coated in a plastic and then these are just sick self sticky pads that you stick on wooden float handles and uh, these are good for detail and small small areas of the walls I like to use them to do corners and and all the fine detail grafting that needs to be done. Just keep on moving. Don't rasp in one section too much. Just keep your rasp going and, and keep your foam piece moving. coming around. I'll do that for all the cylinders here. I'll do about half at a time. Flip it over, do the other half. I'll use this half as a guide since I have this side marked use that as a guide and follow through with it. Somewhat of a cylinder shape. I'll double check it, then I'll start doing the whole thing.
cylinder. It should be a round column. 